Hey hello everyone, Bruffy1322 here and welcome to Real Life Racing Episode 1. This is basically going to be an introductory video about the series. All it's going to do is explain what the series is about, how we're going to progress with it and what it's going to all entail. So, this is me in a cart uh, at my local track and this is an endurance race. So I'm teamed up with someone and basically we run, this is, this is the qualifying session. We do half an hour of qualifying, so 15 minutes each. Then we do a two hour race, uh, 15 minutes, well, half an hour stints each, uh, coming in for pit stops, you know, changing drivers, going back out, and the team that does the most laps at the end of the race wins, essentially. But this isn't going to be normal. This isn't going to be the sort of standard thing that you'll see during this series, because basically I take part in what's called the Thundercart Challenge, which is the local championship in higher carts at my local track. And it's where all the best drivers really who are you know local and do it come all on all up at the same time every month uh, and you know just battle it out on the track so it's basically once a month that you'll get one of these videos and once a month that i actually race as well it's on the third sunday of every month at my local track um, and basically what happens is that there's anywhere up to 30 of us all racing in you know 12 minute 15 minute races you know really quick things you know just straight out bang you're on full pelt all the way around and there's some really good races you know last season was my first full season of doing it and there's some there were some really good races so i've decided to you know with me getting the the full on hd camera that i have i decided to bring that to you and bring it to youtube and basically do what i do for racing games so you know showing online races on forza motorsport gran turismo gta do that same thing but with real life you know real life racing and we can do loads of cool stuff with it you know I can put lap times on I can put positions on so it can look just like it would be from a racing game you know just what you guys are used to seeing but it's real life and it, it, it's it's you know it should be quite interesting so I'll explain a little bit more about that championship in a little while you know I do want to cover everything in this video so you know, you're, everyone's up to speed and knows exactly what the championship involves and things like that. So, in the first video, showing an actual championship race, we can get straight into the action and talk about it properly. But I, I just, you know, I might as well talk about the track a little bit. You know, familiarise ourselves with the track because obviously I know it now, but you guys don't. This is the first time that you've seen it. So you should have seen full, two full laps of the track now, and you're kind of getting used to. Uh, where it goes and what what kind of layout it's got it's quite an interesting track and here i'll put up a top down view so you can see it there it, obviously it's hard to know exactly what happened but you you should as the series goes on get used to the track know where we're going thankfully you're not actually racing so you don't need to know where the track goes you know i'm the person who's out there doing it so yeah it, it should just be you know okay for you to watch but you'll gradually get used to what we're doing and you know places that to overtake and things like that as we go through the series so I've just been told to pit in you know this is still on the qualifying it is starting to get a bit darker and uh, it, yeah I'm, I'm pitting in uh, at the end of this lap I do have a little bit of a battle with this guy and you'll see you know a fair few overtakes during the course of this video which isn't actually you know the, a standard thing you know in a endurance like this there was about 28 other different teams there's a lot of people who are at, at different skill levels Whereas on a Thundercar Challenge, which is what you'll normally see, everyone's kind of at the same kind of skill level. So overtakes don't happen as often. And, you know, when you do get an overtake, it, it's quite an interesting, you know, a, a good thing, really, because uh, you, you've overtaken someone who's you know, also good. Whereas sometimes in races like this, you're overtaking people because they make a mistake or something like that. That doesn't happen as much in a, in a normal Thundercar Challenge. So this is the pit lane, I'm just about to come in now uh, and this is our like first driver change essentially. So we're still in the qualifying session obviously. I, I'm basically coming into the pits and I, we, we swap drivers. So my teammate gets into the cart um, and he goes off and does his 15 minutes of qualifying now. But uh, yeah, you know, the, the my teammate in this is someone who I race against normally in the Thundercar Challenge and there was a few guys who do that uh, championship who were also doing this endurance but here's the start of the race you know I, I wasn't in for the start of the race because he finished the qualifying so he started the race and as you can see it's quite hectic you know with uh, with 
28 yeah. people all racing at the same time it can get quite uh, hectic especially going into the first couple of corners so my teammate does get uh, smashed about quite a fair bit we qualified in fifth position and by the time I think he got round to the, the this point that you're seeing now he'd got smashed and bashed and he was down in eighth or something and you know that just happens sometimes you know you just get you, you hit about especially with uh, people like you know amateurs you would say in a race like this um, but you know not to worry it was nothing he could do about it and we just you know tried to do the best that we can so here's the first driver change he's done his half an hour stint in the race and I get in straight in and out away we go and this is my first half an hour so you know this is straight into the race you know, I haven't uh, been in the race yet uh, and this is my first half an hour and I, I use the first lap to sort of get used to the cart again get used to the tires you know they're a lot warmer now um, and then I start going on the offensive after the first lap you know you've got to get straight on it straight uh, straight in, in, a, in an attacking mode you've got to just overtake as many people as you can because you know that's what it's all about in an endurance you, you just got to you don't want to lose too much time in traffic so after the first lap was out of the way I got used to everything and that was back straight on the uh, straight on the offensive and started overtaking people so yeah you know the, by the time he came in uh, my teammate we were down in ninth place based on the uh, based on the sheet that we have you know got at the end you get a telemetry and everything shows you your positions at every point during the race things like that so you know there's a lot of data that I can give back to you during these normal Thundercat challenge races to explain exactly what's going on as well so yeah we were down in ninth position after his stint and I was basically it was my task to just try my best to bring us back up and get us to a certain level basically the top four in this race were blindingly quick they were gone you know the, there was nothing that we we're going to catch those four and they were all very close together they all finished on the same lap the best that we could really achieve was fifth really we were we were after the first half an hour stint we were sort of in the zone in the in the area where we could progress to fifth if we did well enough because we were still in with those but the top four were kind of um out out on their own really and the carts do play a bit of a factor in that as well you know these are higher carts they do have different uh, characteristics some are quicker than others it's it, it's always tried to make as even as possible but inevitably with higher carts you know they're being used all the time every day there's there's not a lot you can do there will be some uh, difference so i've just been told to pit in there and this is for uh, a, a refuel so we had to refuel all of the carts in this second stint otherwise they wouldn't have uh, got through so i pull into the pit uh, refuel and then everyone gets the same amount of time in an endurance like this so we're, we're all held for two minutes so nobody loses out so I'm I'm waiting there get told to go and then that's it I, I can go finish the rest of my stint as you as normal but I was one of the first to come in so by the time I, I had actually come in I was down in 19th position so it was basically you know I, I'd come in first everyone else was still going around and I was back down in 19th so we, we started 5th we were 9th and now we're 19th but you know not to worry you know not a lot you can do um, other people started to come in as well and you know I gradually made up places made up places made up places just overtaking people as much as possible and in the end we finished 5th so we finished where we qualified and we got that 5th that we thought was achievable in the first place so yeah we, we didn't do too badly really considering um, considering our cart anyway but yeah you know it, it, it was uh, it was an interesting race and a lot of fun to do as well but yeah to explain more about this championship now that we're coming to the end of the uh, the video basically every month there's a race on the third the third Sunday of every month we all come to race you know there's anywhere between 20 and 30 people what happens is we all go out for a qualifying session that's about 15 minutes then we stay in the same cart at the end of the qualifying and get gridded up uh, for the first race in the same qualifying positions, you know, the, wh however we've qualified. Then we do our first race, that's 10 laps, and then come back in. All the carts get swapped around, so it's kind of random. Um, so, you know, it, it makes it fair over the course of a season, say. And you then go out in the second race and you're gridded up in the same positions that you finished the first race. And then there's four there's another race after that so the third race you gridded up in the same position that you finished in the second race all right and then the last race is a final so that's where all the trophies are handed out 
if you win the final, that's 12 laps, you get a trophy. If you come second or third, you also get a trophy. And basically, the, the position that you start in the final is determined by your finishing positions in the first three races. Now, that's a quick overview of what it's like, but you know I, I will explain more as we go along, just so it's all fresh in your mind. But yeah, that's a quick overview of basically what the racing is like. You know, there's four races at every event. I won't necessarily show all four races. I might show some highlights from three of them and then one full race or if all of them, you know, if there were boring sections in all of them, I'll show, you know, highlights from all of them and I'll take your feedback as well. So, you know, any comments that you leave in the, the comments sections, I'll take on board for future episodes and things like that. So, you know, we'll just do it like as if it's an online racing series, but in real life, simply, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. And I hope you will enjoy it, you know, it should be quite fun, there should be some interesting races, you know, I mean I do 40 over the course of a season, some of them are going to be interesting. Uh, some of these videos might be a bit longer, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, just so we can get a full race in there, you know, races normally last between 12 and 15 minutes. If there's one, you know, really good race, I might put the whole thing in there just to, you know, as, as a, just to show the whole thing rather than just highlights. But we'll just see how it goes, you know, and if, if you don't enjoy it, then I'll stop doing it, you know, it's, it's nothing lost. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. But reserve judgment for the uh, the first episode, really. Just wait and see what that one's like, obviously, because it's very different to this endurance. But, you know, let me know what you think. Also, just before I forget, there were two different cameras in this. The uh, Well, it was the same camera, but two different modes. Basically, the first one, in the first half of the video, you can see more... Um, in terms of height as well as uh, what width but it might distort things a little bit but just tell me in the comment section below whether you prefer the camera at the first bit in the qualifying session or you prefer how the camera was in the race in the second half of the video so let me know in the comments down below let me know if this is something that you're looking forward to in the future um, the next video should be up I don't know maybe a month's time something like that and thanks a lot for watching everyone I'll see you next time